Hey, I will try to compare these two MetaHuman animator plugins in this video. I will be working three different videos. So first I will be ingesting them with Facet Frame Mancer. I will be creating depth frames and I will be creating MetaHuman identities first and processing the performance with uh, depth footage first. And we will be doing the same thing and using MetaHuman animator depth processing plugin and creating the performances with that and we will be comparing them. Okay, let's start. So, for the people who don't know, these two plugins are responsible for creating facial animations. So, they're both used for facial capture. So, FaceTech Frame Mancer is my plugin I created uh, before 5.6. So, uh, there are slight differences about uh, the plugins. For example, FaceTech Frame Mancer uh, is getting your face video and creates corresponding depth frames for your video. So, eventually, you will have a depth footage. So you can create metahuman identities or uh, create your performance video with processing depth footage. So metahuman animator depth process plugin, which uh, has been released by Epic Games, and it's an official plugin which is free, uh, which is not uh, creating depth related data. So you can think about a more like an AI trained model. So you just give your, uh, let's say, video frames and it just creates the curves and you will get the animation directly. So you are not able to create metahuman identities or any depth related data with it. But eventually they both are creating facial animations. So I will be using 5.6.1, which is the latest version for now. Let me quickly show. I just enabled metahuman core data for my engine to be able to see the metahuman related assets. So I will be using Xlip versus Epic project. So we will try to compare them here. So let's start. I will show you which plugins I enabled here in a moment. Uh, maybe we can start with MetaHuman. And I enabled MetaHuman Animator plugin and also MetaHuman Animator Depth Processing, which I showed. Uh, if you don't have it, which is free, so you can go to Fab Marketplace and download and use with Unreal Engine 5.6. And also for, um, this is my plugin, I will be also uh, using this one, uh, Facet Frame Mancer. So let's start. I would like to show you uh, which videos uh, I have. For example, this one. Calling all entrepreneurs! I get them from YouTube and we will try to process these videos. So I pre-process them before uh, I ingest them. So this is the final footage we will be processing. And also I have this one. I thought that is going to be really interesting because he exaggerates his facial expressions. So I would like to see what the results I will get. I also pre-processed it and this is the final result I have. Also, I have another video which I got from uh, Turkish uh, TV channels. So this is the final footage which I will be processing. So. Uh, in content, I will create a new folder, which I will call it Capture Manager, because once we try to ingest them with the plugin, it will directly ingest them in Capture Manager folder. So our structure will be uh, okay here. I will also call Frame Mancer. I will be uh, ingesting with my plugin first. I will create uh, skeletons uh, for uh, skeletal meshes. So I will be using the same skeletal mesh for the two uh, processed metahuman performance so we can compare them and here frame mancer i will also uh, call one uh, let's start with uh, english announcer actually so i will just go there so before we ingest it i will go to check the details i would like to show actually this is the shot we need to process we'll go to properties and details I see this is 550 with an height, so I will quickly go to project settings and I will adjust my um, resolution here. I will also put the same for depth resolution and we are good to go. 
So we can just start drag and drop this file, right click, exact landmarks. Okay, we got the audio. It, it's extracting the uh, facial landmarks. We have 1300 frames, okay. So when it's ready, I will right click image radio source and start creating that frames. So here, let's try to preview our frames here quickly. So as you know, we need to find the proper depth values here. So in a normal, like an adult uh, human face, there should be 10 centimeters different in depth. So we are, we will try to adjust some plugin values to find this. It's 22, 33, maybe a little bit less. Would be fine. Yeah, I think this looks pretty good. So we can convert. So we have, uh, I will also try to adjust this once. Let's go it like this. We'll create convert images to depth frames and it will create all related depth frames for us. Okay, this is done. And for a calibration process, I have to create a new calibration. I will also call it English announcer cam. I will put it, let's say, 3.2 uh, 3 focal length adjustment for now. Let's create a quick calibration and it will create our uh, camera calibration files. And I will just generate capture data footage and we have it. Now we are ready to go with Metrium identity. I will create a new uh, MHI folder here. I will also create a new English announcer and let's create a uh, human identity. I will call it version one. Let's open it. Create components. English announcer shot. Okay, we have this one. Let's try to see our depth data together with the footage it seems okay -ish. i think this looks fine so we are ready to promote the frames and create the meta human identity and skeletal mesh so here we need to find a proper neutral poses for this one i think this looks fine i will promote this frame first and I will go and try to find another one. Maybe this one looks fine. Three is okay. I will try to find one more. Maybe this one. Let's put this three. I will uh, go with human identity solve. and authoric to meta human identity and it will create our skeletal mesh this is pretty fast nowadays interesting okay we didn't get any warnings so let's try to see how it looks like together i think this looks pretty good about the head size maybe we can go with uh, we need to play with the focal length maybe but i think this looks fine so i will keep it in that way i will also add a teeth pause here and also let's try to find the teeth pause I think this is pretty good for a teeth pose. And I will also fit teeth. Okay, now we can prepare it for performance. Okay, we are ready. Let's try to save it. 
And now I will go to content. I will try to create another folder for metahuman performances. I will just go there. I will create a metahuman performance. Let's also call it English announcer. I will also call it xtip English announcer. And let's open it. I will, it will be a depth footage. And this is our announcer shot. And metahuman identity, we will select our metahuman identity which we created and I will not do anything here, I will just process okay, our performance is ready let's try to uh, continue with the Epic Games a plugin so here uh, we need to go to Live Link Hub We will have the capture manager over here and we will be ingesting this one here so here uh, i will click capture manager in live link hub i will click add devices and i will click mono video ingest and we need to uh, put the uh, directory here i will just copy and put my take directory and it will display the videos i have i have english announcer shot this one needs to be processed I will add the queue and I will click this one and start it will ingest our video and this is done so we can close this one I will uh, go to content and capture manager as you can see imports it will create it, the capture data and the announcer shots here so uh, what we can, what we will do next, we don't need to do any uh, processing afterwards. We will go to new metahuman identity. I will also uh, try to uh, copy this one and I will create a new metahuman performance. I will call it Epic English Announcer and let's open it. Here we will set, change our input type to monocular footage and we will select our uh, the second uh, capture data which is created by, by the uh, ingest server with live link hub i will also uh, select the visualiz uh, visualization mesh i will select the same uh, skeletal mesh so we can uh, compare them here so if you press process and as you can see this is very fast and there is no other let's say uh, iterations it's just finalizing in one iteration so uh, i will do the same things for uh, the, these two uh, other videos go to capture manager frame mancer here i am speeding it up i'm just uh, ingesting the video and creating the material identity and processing the performance and doing the same thing for the epic games plugin and i am preparing the performance for the last video i'm just generating the depth frames and creating material identity and processing the performance and doing the same thing with the other plugin so here are the results Hello, i'm denise roberts and welcome to level up the bully pulpit for small business in the dmv in the united states the wine making business is a 56 billion dollar industry with an expected annual growth rate of 5.85 percent in the next few years out of the more than 11,000 wineries based in the U.S., less than 1% of those are black-owned or have a black winemaker. Within the past couple of years, there's been a push toward purchasing from black-owned businesses, which has bolstered awareness and shined a spotlight on the benefit of increasing diversity. Here to talk about the industry is the DMV's very own Marcus Johnson, jazz musician and now... Peki o zaman iki senaryo üzerinden konuşalım. Bugün faiz indirimi kararı geldi ve yılın kanalı, kalanı içinde faiz indirimi olabileceğine dair sinyaller gelirse bu hem küresel piyasaları hem içeride bizi yılın geri kalanında nasıl etkiler? Şayet faizi indirir ve durup beklemeyi tercih ederse FED bu yılın geri kalanında içeride bizi nasıl etkiler? You read the job description before your interview because it will give you several clues as to the type of skills and qualities they are looking for from the ideal candidate. For example, if on the job description it states the ideal candidate must be a good team worker, 
be prepared for the interview question. Tell me about a time when you worked on a team. Read the job description carefully. It will give you a clue as to the type of questions you will have to answer. Yeah, as a conclusion, in my opinion, I would say this official dev process plugin is so fast comparing to uh, depth related processing because you don't need to promote frames, you don't need to create identities and uh, you don't need to deal with uh, many other things. So if you want to have a quick facial animation with only one video, I think this is the best way to go. Uh, but on the other hand, there are some downsides. Uh, I think some parts of the animation are still not well captured because uh, this is the trained model in the end and uh, it is not exactly uh, capturing uh, with the depth uh, data. On uh, the other hand, uh, if you want to create some identity or do some depth related stuff, still I think Facebook Frame Mansell can be used. Uh, I also found another video <clears throat> which uh, handles this uh, comparison with real iPhone depth data and with the uh, depth process plugin. I would also uh, put it somewhere here and you can watch. I think that is it for today. See you in the next time.